Hey everyone, I'm Justin Fisher in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen. And it's a good day because we are with Chef Fowl from the OUTU School of Community Medicine. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. I'm doing pretty good because today we're talking still trying to be healthy in the new year. We're what, nine, ten days in now and you got to keep going. One of the easiest ways to rack up the calories, put the sugar in, is drinks. So we're talking about the low and no calorie drinks to kind of supplement that in some ways, right? Right, so it's very easy to, like you said, um, accumulate a lot of calories, needless, mindless yes. calories um, through beverages. So you're going for something sweet and, and, and that tastes good, but you clearly don't need that. Right, so I mean, I think all of us have probably heard of mint and cucumber water, but um, it's still very delicious, very refreshing. Just need something to kind of ump up some yeah. regular water. I mean, this is also great with the sparkling water. You know, there's all those brands of sparkling water out on the market today that are so popular. A lot of them, yeah. And then um, this one is a nice wild berry tea. zinger tea. And so um, there's lots of uh, teas on the market that have this red color. And the reason is because of hibiscus. So if you can find some tea that's hibiscus, um, it's it kind of has like a a cherry or berry flavor to it. And so those are really good to kind of, especially for kids, to take the place yeah. of like Kool-Aid. And kind of, it still has that sweet taste, but you're not getting all that sugar. Right, right? so there's yeah. no sugar in that. You can serve this hot or you can serve it iced. Mm -hmm. And then the next one we have is a ginger tea. And so this one you could serve hot or iced too, but today, um, so what we have here. I don't think here, I've ever had ginger tea. You mind if I put some honey in here? Yeah, put a little, just, just a touch a of honey. So bit. yes, no calorie or low, low calorie. calorie. So this yeah. is just a little, and this is some the, stretchy okay, honey. Yeah. Okay, and so this is that. just water and sliced ginger. This has been boiled together for about 10 minutes or so, and you can strain it a little bit better than I did. Um, hey, the more in there, the healthier. But make make a lot at a time and yeah. keep it in your refrigerator so that it's always handy for you, and you can have it as a cold tea, or again, you could go ahead and nuke it. Um, so <laughs> ginger is a really good addition because yeah, yeah. It, it, it does have antioxidants, but it also is good for like stomach digestion. Okay, and so if there's you know nausea, that's it's a good thing. A lot of times, pregnant women will chew on crystallized ginger or ginger, and so the tea does the same thing. Okay, that is really hot, but it's really good actually. I think it's actually really good, and I'm not a big tea drinker, so I'll have it at night. But I think it's just because I don't know how to make it. And well, it, and that's it, a it good point really quick. about both of these teas too, is that they are um, non-caffeinated, they're uncaffeinated, and so yeah, you can have those any time of day. All right, well thank you so much, Chef, and if you wanna find this recipe or any other recipe, they're quick, they're easy, they're healthy, you can find that on kgrh.com. Thanks for joining us.